on B. Okay, so it shows uh, the uh, same account. Okay, they are same. Okay, so if you use different numbers, Effect account number, then you run. Okay, then you will show that they are not the same account. Okay, they are not. Okay, they are not the same account. Okay. So it's working, so mean your equal method is working. Uh, if the account number is same, it will say they are, they are same. If the account number is different, it will say they are not the same. Okay, this is C. So we're done. Then I just now I see many transaction fee being charged uh, oh, because I haven't removed this part. Okay, the uh, 1B also can simplify uh, this checking through the by uh, Okay, so your withdrawal of your current account becomes simple. Uh, this one, one B, uh, one, one B. Okay, transactions so that up by, uh. okay, all this already handle inside the class. Okay, so this is the test program. Uh. Okay, test program, test equal method. Okay, that check balance, test deposit, check withdrawal. This one for seven account, then same thing for the current account. So now your current account test withdrawal is just like this. Uh, simple. Okay, can withdraw, pin balance, the pre withdraw, fail to withdraw. That's all. Okay, you want to check the, you want to test the equal method for the current account, then you create one more current account and do something like this. Huh? So with this one, we done. Once uh, to C. So it means 6A finish. Can follow or not? Huh? Want you me to share, share the code or not? <laughs> Oh, 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 so many. <laughs> okay, your mates will share this one six egg, uh, better six egg code, uh, that finish one. Okay, with this one, we finish six egg. Let's okay, save everything. Okay, your means we will share. Mm. 
Where is my code? Just now forget to put in a desktop, uh, so it's in my document NetBeam project. Okay, this one my code. Okay, so this will be the code for practical 6F finisher. Uh, so your miss will share to all of you. Just attach to today class here. in my document okay so your mate will share on today class uh, at your google calendar here for today class you can get from the google calendar okay for practical 6a Okay, so for today class, eh? okay, I'll share the practical 6A. So we finished 6A. Okay, what's best? Okay. Hey, this one na 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 na. The question three is still ready. Practical six B. Practical six B. Okay, for practical six B, your miss don't want to do now. I want you to uh, do as a homework, okay? Because it's similar, similar with six A, uh, similar with six A. Okay, I double six B. is for 6p okay it's another scenario okay uh, also inheritance okay so last time we have account and then saving account current account now is employee class okay and uh, we have commission employee and club here okay this one UML diagram already given so data here so you just put inside uh, gross so commission employee you have your own data Okay, brochure and commission rate. Club, you have your own data, allowance, overtime hour, overtime rate. Okay, then do constructor, do getter sector. Okay, do the two string, print out name, year joy, and basic salary. So calculate salary here, double, you just return this basic salary huh, for employee class. Okay. So the difference here is your all right, yeah? all right, the calculate salary methods, okay, in your super class, account class, where they have their own way on calculating the salary, okay. So as a, okay, as a commission employee, so your salary will be your basic salary. So in this method, uh, calculate salary that you overwrite here, <coughs> sorry. Okay, return double, uh, double, so you return. Okay, basic salary, this one you take from your super class. Uh, so you call super class dot calculate salary. Okay, this one return the 
basic salary here huh? basic salary here okay then you ask your own thing okay gross and commission rate this is your data here huh? sini huh? so plus gross sale multiply with for commission employee then for club okay your club your salary yeah, this one calculation method you return Okay, call a super class, calculate salary, which is the best salary, and then plus your own thing, okay, your allowance, CD, and then plus your overtime pay. Your overtime pay will be your overtime hour, I mean these two lah, overtime hour multiply with your overtime rate, okay. So these three classes, your miss want you to do yourself first. Uh, now to write the class, should be no problem, uh. then, uh, when I see you later next, uh, this Thursday, I see you this Thursday. Okay, Thursday class, then we will do the main, uh, the main, okay, we do the main together. Okay, the three classes your means want you to do yourself. Okay, as a homework, then we will write the client program together to create the area. Okay, of employee, then we will print out uh, object using the two string method. Okay, and then C is the same like just now, uh, equal method. Uh, just add in the equal method to check, okay, if they have the same name, okay? The object is considered the same if they have the same name. Okay, B and C we do together, okay, this Thursday. Uh, after finish practical seven, then we come back do this, okay? The three classes you miss want you to do yourself. Uh, employee, commission employees, and also club. Okay, uh, okay or not? Okay or not? Why cry? <laughs> you miss us, you okay or not? You cry. <laughs> okay, so now we want to, uh, you miss want to continue with 7A. Okay, we do practical 7A. Yes, XP. Homework, ah, uh, these three classes. Okay, it's the same thing, one, ah. Uh. We, we want to start something different. Okay, 6P is similar, more or less similar with 6A. Uh, just different scenario only. Okay, so you do, so now your miss will do uh, 7A. Okay, else and cannot finish, ah. Uh. You have to... Start new things, abstract class. Then only we come back do this old one. Okay, now can go download seven A. Okay, go download your practical 7A. We will do practical 7A now. Okay, we can uh, let me now. We can close this uh, 6A. Close, close, close.
Okay, can create new project uh, for practical 7A. Okay, practical 7A, uh, you may spread. Uh, go to desktop. Do you guys need a break before we start vertical 7A? Okay, our class will until 9.15 eh, because just now we start 15 minutes late. Okay or not? Yo, what happened? You hey guys, uh, one break or not? Ayo. Always need your wish to see here one now. Okay, okay let's break. Uh, now it's 3 9. Uh. Can we break until 4 5? Then we still have half an hour. Huh? Don't want break. Uh. You want end early? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Then continue. Then we end at 9. Uh. <laughs> you one person don't want break only. Uh. The rest, okay. Uh. Any objection? <laughs> okay, now let's see practical 7A. Okay, it's hospital. So what is the new thing in practical 7 compared to your, it's also inherited. Okay, but we have new thing in practical 7, okay, which is called abstract. Huh? Abstract. Abstract class. So if you already finished your chapter 7, huh? you know why we need to have abstract class, why the class will be abstract? Anyone know? Uh, why the class needs to be abstract? What the difference of abstract class with other concrete or normal classes? No or not, guys? Somebody talking? Huh? Okay, do you know why why the class have to be clear, uh, have to be declared as abstract? Anyone? And what the difference that abstract class compared to other concrete class? I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Uh. Okay, so when, when the class is common, uh, common, until you don't have specific things and you don't want to create uh, any objects uh, of the super class and you have the methods that no implementation, that is called abstract method. Okay, in that case, you make your super class abstract. Okay, when it's too common until you no need to create any objects. Okay, abstract class cannot create objects uh, and inside there must have abstract method. Okay, abstract method, no implementation, so it must be implemented in all the subclasses. Okay, that's called abstract class. Okay, now let's see this uh, case. Okay, it's the hospital. Okay, to handle the patients of the hospital. So in hospital, we have uh, two category of patient, which is inpatient and outpatient. Okay, inpatient means you stay. Huh? Someone who's hospitalized for at least one night, okay, stay at the hospital. Lah. Okay, outpatient is the one, just see doctor only, but no need to stay. Okay, that's called out, lah. no need to stay. Inpatient is the one got stay. 
So if the patient got stay, the room, they got two types of room here. Okay, so we have the room type S, uh, if the room type is S, which is standard room. Okay, they have four beds, so the room rate is how much? 100 per night. Okay, that's the room rate. Okay, if it's room type is P, then there is a private room. So which only have one bed and the room rate is 200. Okay, so you are required to create classes to be used in the patient building applications. So the data to be stored and the calculation of charges for each type of patients are shown below. So see this table, so we have outpatient, okay, inpatient. So these are the data for each of them. Then we have the total charges, how to calculate the total charges. For outpatient, you just see doctor, so the total charges will be your registration fees, okay, 30 ringgit. Okay, plus the consultation fees. Okay, for inpatients, the one got stay in the hospital, so you need to pay your specialist charges, left charges, room charges. Okay, your room charges will be your room rate. Okay, multiply with your day, duration of the stay, how long you stay there. Okay, so write the following classes. So we need to have one abstract class, which is the super class named patient bill. Then we need to have two subclasses here. Okay. Outpatient bill and inpatient bill. Okay. Which is derived from the patient bill. Lah. Okay. So some requirement here. Read. Okay. Define the and new static variable. Okay. To represent the registration fees. Okay, registration fee. So we have here uh, 30 ringgit, uh, this one. Okay, static. And also the room rate. The okay, room rate also need to be static. Room rate is here, uh, 100, uh, 100, 200. Okay, based on the room type. Uh, also need to be static. Then provide method to calculate the total charges. Okay, calculate total charges uh, using the formula. Okay, the given here, lah, the calculations. So for the abstract class, you can define the data field as protected. Okay, all the data make it protected lah, so that you can just assess uh, in the subclass. Okay, can just assess in the outpatient and inpatient bill. Okay, and declare abstract method. Okay, by appropriate. So in the abstract class, we will have the abstract method. Okay. So now we will do these uh, three classes. The only omis will end the class. Huh? Okay, so create the patient bill. Okay, so create the new project, uh, practical 7A. Okay, new. Java class, uh, patient bill. Okay, patient bill. So if abstract class, how you going to represent abstract class? Okay, use uh, the abstract keyword, uh, abstract. keywords okay in front of the class then this class will be attract okay so what data we will have in the patient bill okay super class so you will see here okay let's see the data now okay so from here which one okay which data are shared among the two Okay, so we can see here, we see ID and name. Okay, I appear in both inpatient and outpatient. These two data are shared. Okay, the rest, all the customized one, their own thing. 
So this share one, you can put in the super class. We say ID and name. Okay, so now put this uh, receipt ID here. So make data all protected. Uh. So put protected, then your subclasses can just direct access. Okay, we have the receipt ID. So let's say we make ID uh, integer. Okay, receipt ID. Okay, then name. Okay, string. Uh. Okay, we make it string uh, name. Okay, so we want to automate the receipt idea. So we need to have a static variable to keep track of the last okay, receipt ID. Okay, so we will declare one uh, also protected. Okay, protected uh, static member. Okay, static member integer. So last receipt ID. And then we will do the constructor with parameters. Okay, patient bill. Okay, you have to pass in the name, nah. parameter. Okay, the patient name. This name equal to name. So the the receipt ID will be automated. So how how to automate it mean? Okay, you will set the receipt ID equal to the last receipt ID. Okay, then you plus plus. Okay, last receipt ID plus plus the last receipt ID. Okay, so this will be the parameter constructor. Then no no need no need to write the getter setter. Okay, because protected. Okay, so protected. So we don't need to do getter. Can just start it assess in the children class, okay? The child class, so we will just do the one method, okay? Do string, okay? Just do the two string method, and we just print out lah, print out return the receipt ID and the name. Say ID and name, no need format. Lah. I can just return ID. Just bring out the receipt ID and the patient name. We'll do. Okay, so done the patient bill. So we will have one abstract method here. Okay, perfect. Okay, abstract method return double that is the calculate copper. This is this one. Okay, calculation of the total charges. Okay. Calculate 
total charges. There is a method. Let's uh, attract uh, so put attract keyword in front. There's no implementation. So if you declare as abstract, the methods here, so the subclasses, okay, need to overwrite this method. I mean, you have the implementation, okay? Can find the implementation in the classes, in the subclasses. Okay, so done the patient bill class. No, 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 guys. Can we move to a patient in patient class? Yes, miss. Okay, so now we will do uh, up patient first, up patient more easy. Okay, up patient class, this one. Ah. Okay, create the up patient class. Okay, so up patient class will extend. Okay, tell who is the Father, who is the super class? Okay, extend. Okay, the parent is the super class is patient bill. So inside here, you have your own data. Okay, can make it private lah. Registration fees. Okay, registration fees and consultation fees. Okay, double, double. Okay. Okay, double. Okay, registration fees. And also consultation fees. Okay, since the question got mentions, uh, so registration fees, 30 ringgit, uh, this one. Okay, need to make it static. Okay, so make it static registration fee. Okay, at the static in front. Okay, how much? 30. And okay, then do the constructor. Okay, with parameter. Okay, you pass in a name. Uh. This one is through the super class. Okay, then you pass in the consultation fees or your interest variable here. Okay, here you call your super class constructor with parameter, pass in the name, and then inside here you have your own thing. So assign yourself your consultation fees. Okay, equal to this consultation fees. And then you have to override the abstract method, uh, the calculate this one. Uh. Okay, double calculate total charges. Okay, you need to have this method inside here. And with the implementation, so in here, tapaya abstract keyword, sir. Uh. Okay, alright, the method, uh, alright, the abstract method in the class so we return how to calculate the charges for our patient so it will be okay here lah, refer here registration fee plus consultation fees nah, sini okay diary return lah. okay plus the consultation fees And then we override the tutoring method also. Uh. 
because in the patient bill, your to your your you only print the visa ID and patient name. Here you print the bill also. Huh? Written. I call your super class to string method. That plus your own thing. Own thing here will be your this one you format lah because proper charger got am. Okay, string dot format. And ni apa ni? Total charges. I'm uh, to F. Okay, here you directly call your own method. Okay, which is the calculate. Uh, calculate. Uh, charges. Okay, done. Patient class done. Oh, patient class done? Yes, please. Okay, we will go to last one, uh, inpatient, then your miss will stop. Okay, the main we will do, uh, we'll continue this Thursday, uh, physical class. So then, uh, our patient, now we will do inpatient. In patient, ah, okay. In patient, also same thing. Tell who is the super class. Okay, extend. Uh, patient bill. It's not noisy. No choice, ah. Uh. Nobody teach them do homework. <laughs> you know, this is in class. <laughs> Okay, let's finish this, then I will settle them. Okay, in patient class. Okay, let's see the... data. So this will be the data. Okay, specially charger, lab charger, room types, and also duration of stay. Let's take this. Okay, data put here. Okay, all this private. Lah. Okay, specialist charges of all make it double. Okay, all private. Lah, double. The left charger. Okay, double. Okay, room tech. Room tech. Room type, we have two uh, here, S and P. Okay, room type, make it character. Lah. S and P, this one character. Okay, make it character. Echa. Room type. Okay, 
And last one is the durations of stay. The duration of stay until a day. The duration of stay. Okay, so we also need static members. Uh. We need to have static verbal here. Okay, it's mentioned in the question. Okay, room rate, uh, room rate. Okay, static verbal. So room rate, we have two here. One is for standard room, 100. One is for private room, 200. So we need to declare two static verbal here. Okay, private. Okay, static. Okay, room rate is double, double. Then we have the standard room rate. That is 100. Okay, whereas the private one. Okay, private room rate. That is 200. Okay, done the data. And okay, now we will have our constructor. Okay, puppet uh, constructor. Intention. The same thing you need to pass the name. Uh, this one is for super class. Okay, then you have your own thing here. Okay, the four. Okay, this four are uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, also need to pass in here. Okay, for parameter constructor. Okay, your instant data. Okay, actually, charge. Uh, Okay, then let charger. Then I hold uh, uh, double lap chargers, then uh, Room tag. Then one more here, integer duration of stay. Okay, so inside here you call your super class. Okay, the super class constructor parameter constructor pass in the name. And then here is your own thing, uh, this uh, special charger. Chargers, comma, comma. Room type equal to room type. And the duration. Done the parameter constructor. Okay, same thing. We will overwrite the calculate calculate uh total charges method. Uh. Okay, return. So how to calculate? The 
charger specially charger plus left charger plus room break okay room charges okay room charges based on the room type uh. okay, plus this three plus this and plus room break okay room break we don't have so we have to declare our cell uh. this one uh, room break uh, room charges okay room charges room charges How you get your room charges? Okay, you can use if else or switch case uh, to switch the room type. Okay, the room type. Say your miss use switch case uh, if it's a uh, S standard room. Uh, so your room charges okay, will be the and the room red and multiply the durations of stay okay break okay case P, private room. Okay, the room charger will be the private room rate. Okay, then operations of stay. So this one at the end, put the charges here. And then okay, last one to string method. Okay, to string method can take from the outpatient just now. Okay, the report here. Okay, so with this, we've done the impatient class, the calculate total charges, and the two string method. Okay, your miss will stop here. Save all. Okay, everyone. Okay, your miss will stop here. So the three classes ready done. We will continue the main on this Thursday. So that's all for today. So you ready done, safe and bring your code on this Thursday.